Hello my lovelies. It is that time of the week again. We are back. This week, the past couple weeks honestly, have been such a roller coaster. If, I mean no one actually knows besides my boyfriend and my mom, but the past couple weeks my car has just been doing its own thing and not working and everything. So it's kind of just caused me to be in a bit of a slump, but I have some amazing news and you guys will find that out next week. So I'm super excited for that. I'm feeling a lot better in my life and everything. So I know that you guys don't really know what's going on, but I ended up spending like a thousand five hundred dollars to try and fix my car. It's having an overheating issue. So I've just chosen to sell it because I do Uber Eats and things like that to make my day-to-day -day life money and things so I used to sell a lot of things on Etsy and also right now I'm wanting to be a YouTuber and an influencer so overall those things are kind of what I'm focusing a lot on but my day-to-day -day, I do a lot of Uber Eats so if you guys actually want to do Uber I have a referral link below if you guys want to do that you can earn a lot of money honestly it's just an easy job I usually listen to a podcast or something like that while I'm driving around just picking up food and dropping it off super super easy job Job. It makes me feel like I'm super financially free. I can work whenever I want. This is not an ad. I'm not sponsored at all. It's just my own thing. But anyway, from as you see, oh, from as you can see, from as you can see from the title of this video, oh my goodness. It's been a day, it's been a long day guys and I apologize that I haven't been posting on Saturdays. I thought Sundays would be a bit better but I think I'm going to go back but it's been a hectic week. Anyway, explaining things that I ended up buying from thrift shops or things that I've bought in general that I thought were good ideas at the time and I've just never worn or just didn't think it was a good idea. I have some really sparkly shoes that I absolutely adore that I've never worn because I bought them and then they ended up feeling really small and too annoying to kind of deal with. Oh my god. Oh, there's a cup with a piece of toast in it that is so funny. Okay, I'm just gonna go move that. That's actually hilarious. I had some eggs on toast this morning and then I just didn't eat the other bread because I thought it was too much carbs and so I put it in my cup. <laughs> Don't judge me. The biggest things that I want to show you and my favorite are these shoes. Like look how beautiful they are. I honestly really love them. I, oh my god, I just realized they were size 6. No wonder they don't freaking fit me. How did I not notice that? Well, yeah, I did notice it and I just didn't want to not buy them. So I got these shoes from a thrift shop in Wynnum like a year or two ago. Well, yeah, $15. It still has the price tag on them because I've never worn them. I don't think I'll even be able to put them on now because they're so small. More. Yeah. No, 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 no. That's fun. I was going to try these on for you guys, but I don't think I can. All of this stuff that I'm showing you also is things that I'm going to give away. So I'm just showing you kind of what I don't wear anymore, the reasons why, and how you can upgrade your wardrobe because a lot of the stuff that I used to get was questionable and I'm not too sure as to why I used to get it. I end up getting it and then it doesn't work out so I end up giving it away again. But I feel like these would be a really cool like background prop kind of decorative vibe maybe. I just want to say if you don't have the same pair of tights that you bought when you were like 14 because you didn't realize how much you would need them for the rest of your life then are you even living. I've had these for so long to the point where like they don't have holes or anything in them but there's just like thread kind of coming apart and I just feel like I'm at the point now where I have so many different pairs of activewear shorts that I could part with these. They're from The Warehouse which is a New Zealand brand if you guys didn't know. That's where I grew up. Oh my god. I wonder if they're see-through. I don't think they're see-through. Uh, a little bit, a little bit. I've literally had these for 12 years and I've worn them so much because I just didn't buy activewear. It wasn't something that I normally did. One of the big mistakes that I ended up buying at the start of Rona, the fun little spicy cold vibes, was I got super obsessed with buying a bunch of stuff. I can't remember what this brand is. Oh, from Opoly. So I bought a bunch of things from Opoly. I can't really remember what the other stuff is, but I don't think it was really good either, honestly. I think one of them was like this crop blazer. I'll try and find a photo and stick it up here. It was super cute at the time and then I got it and it just didn't, I got it in the wrong size. It didn't fit properly. It didn't go with anything. I had nowhere to go because everyone was in lockdown so it didn't make any sense. And then this was on sale and I just decided, you know what? This seems like a good idea. Like when did I ever think this was a good idea? Like walking around Oh my gosh. And then also it was meant to come with straps so that you could actually wear it without it coming down. 
didn't come with any straps it was on sale so i couldn't return it and i've never ever worn it i've kept it for so long because i thought maybe you know what one day i'll wear it and the day has just never come it looks really nice on when i first bought it because i wasn't the weight that i am now right now it feels like it's just like not my vibe it's not the right color it's so bright and vibrant it just doesn't go with anything i want it i want someone else to find a use for this i feel like this would be really dope with like some fishnet stocking like sleeve what are they called gloves some fishnet stocking gloves with like a really cool mesh top underneath actually that'd be a really cool outfit with like my boots and things but again it's just not something that i would actually wear but it's a no from me uh the next thing that i wanted to show you guys sorry if i'm a bit all over the place i feel like it's just been such a such a hectic time honestly i bought these really cute like slides what would you call them like chandles or slides or flats they're called flats actually flats so i bought these i bought stuff from sheen for the first time like a couple of years ago because i was like you know what it's super cheap I don't really have the money at the time. I wanted to buy some things. Now I don't buy from there because obviously it's a really bad brand and they rip off a lot of other brands and it's fast fashion and all this kind of, you know. These were one of the things that I bought from Sheen and these are the most uncomfortable things that I've ever experienced in my life. Looking around, I was like, you know what? These look good. These are nice beach vibes. I'm just gonna go walk along and I'm gonna walk in these. And if you, I don't know if you can see, but I'm gonna give you guys some free feet photos right now. Oh my god, there's some hair on there. My hair. You can't see it. Anyway, I ended up with so many blisters to the point where we went and bought me some new pair of shoes and had to go and buy a box of friggin plasters because my feet it doesn't support anything first off your foot is hanging off everywhere i don't know how people wear flats like these unless they have really tiny feet because they were the most uncomfortable things i've ever experienced in my life so another no but someone else might find them they're pretty much brand new like even if you look at the bottom they've only been worn once brand spanking new oh my god my nail broke oh no the table is broken anywho this is the shorts of one of the sets that i have i have like a matching crop jersey which i absolutely love the crop jersey these shorts however whenever you're walking it ends up kind of just bunching up in the crotch and you just look like you're constantly having like a front wedgie it's not like a camel toe vibe but it's very much just like let me see if i can try and recreate it like it's just very much like in here oh i can't <sighs> Like you're walking along, just say, and then everything's just kind of like bunched up here. It just looks so bad. And unless you're wanting to walk and pull it out every time, it doesn't look good. And it wouldn't do that at the back. It was literally at the front. So I don't know however they've like sewn this together or the way that they've done the seam, but it's definitely a no-go, guys. And these are from ASOS. Oh no, this is from Factory. When did I buy these? I thought I got this from ASOS. Oh, okay. Never mind. Well, I got this from Factory. So I do not recommend these unless you're just wanting really casual loungewear and you don't mind things going all up in there. But yeah, definitely a no from me. This is something else actually that I got from Sheen. And it it looks super cute. I've worn it camping. It looks really fun and enjoyable and things like that. But it just all goes up in your crotch vibes. It's just not... I don't know what's up with me and buying things that just likes to go up into the front part. Like it looks really snuggly. It is so nice to wear. But when you're walking around, it just goes up, up the front and it's just not a fun time. Like I don't know what else to explain about it. I, I just wanted it because it looked like a really comfy vibe. And it definitely is really comfortable except for that whole section. So the next thing I actually got because I thought, you know what, I'm branching out. I'm going to get some color into my life. I'm going to be a new me. I know. I know. I don't really know why I got it. It's from Valley Girl, but I bought it from a thrift shop in Adelaide. It looks really nice on my complexion because I have olive skin, but it's just, I don't know what I was thinking. I feel like I tried it on. It looked really good. And I thought, you know what, this is going to go with a lot of things in my closet, but this doesn't really go with my style. So I ended up... I think it was only like three dollars so honestly it wasn't expensive at all i know someone else is really gonna love this and they're gonna make this shine in their wardrobe but i thought that i could get over the frilly things but i'm just very much not like a frilly type of person and so i think that's my own fault obviously it's not anyone else's fault i'm not blaming anyone else 
on to the next one. If you go and watch my first ever thrifting video, I actually wear this in thrifting video. And funny enough, that's probably the last time I actually wore it. So I really, really like this. I feel like it gives me Versace vibes. Like they're kind of printed. Obviously it's not the exact same Versace vibes. It just gives me the same colors and the same type of pattern vibes. It used to be a long sleeve top and I ended up cutting it shorter. And then I thought by cutting it shorter that I was gonna end up wearing it a lot more, but I just didn't. It's from Miss Valley, which I think is kind of like Valley Girl, like an off-brand Valley Girl because it looks like it has the same kind of lettering, like font. So I really like, oh actually, the outfit that I have on right now would actually suit this. I might actually keep this. See, this is my problem. I end up trying it on and then I'm like, you know what? I might actually wear this and then I don't because I don't really think about the outfits. I feel like this would be a nice actually, I'm going to keep it 100%. This is going to be a nice little fun look. Feels like I'm going somewhere special, doesn't need to be high end special, but still looks really good look. You know what I mean? Do you guys get me? I feel like you guys get me because I get you. Okay, I've decided I'm keeping it. I might even cut it into like a vest. I feel like a vest might look a lot nicer. I don't know. Yeah, no. See like this, I feel like just by itself here, doesn't really scream me. But with the whole outfit, like this vibe, I feel like it's nice. It's like a nice accessory, pop of pattern, color vibes going on. So I've decided I'm keeping it, okay? If you guys think that I shouldn't, comment below because I keep going back and forth of whether I should. But I've decided now that I'm going to. Oh my god, what's that? Oh, it's my bobby pins. I know that this video probably wasn't what you guys were thinking or wanting or wanting to see from me. I know that you love my try on hauls, my styling videos and everything. It's just been a very intense past couple of weeks and honestly, I haven't been able to drive anywhere for the past three or four weeks because of my car and which means that I also haven't been able to go thrifting or buy anything or give you guys the content that I really want. I really appreciate everyone that's still watching. I appreciate everyone that's supporting me. I hope you guys are having a lovely week and sending love to everyone else around you. I'm so thankful for all of you and I hope that you guys have an absolute lovely day. Thank you so very much for being here. I love you and have a lovely day.